Section A, kinds of writing. Okay, so there's lots of different types of writing in college, but how do you know when to write one way and when to write another? Well, you know by the assignment you're given and the class you're in. You're going to be taking all sorts of classes while you're in college, like anthropology, psychology, chemistry, or business. Now, not only are there different kinds of writing for each discipline or field of study, but lots of times there are different kinds of writing within each discipline. So what kinds of writing are there? Well, stay tuned, because the next thing we're going to look at are the characteristics of a few different disciplines. Like, let's say you're asked to do a lab report in chemistry or biology. You would have to describe the materials, procedures, and results of scientific experiments, then draw conclusions from the results. Or let's say you take a drama class. You might have to do a critical review of a performance in a theater. You'd report the details of the performance and judge its quality in comparison with similar works. If you take a business class, you might have to write a case report in business management. You'd use financial data and other info from real and hypothetical businesses as the basis for recommendations about improving their successes. You may also be asked to summarize professional articles or to argue a position on some controversial issue in many classes you take. But no matter what kind of writing you are asked to do, you will be composing. So is that why it's called composition? Yep. And the types of writing we've just reviewed are just a few of the many kinds of writing you'll have to use during those mind-bending college years. Now, remember when we said that writing is all about making sense of your experience? Yeah. What's your point? Well, that's what you're doing when you're composing a piece of writing. You're making sense of your experience, your thoughts, and your research. It's the same thing every time you tackle a different subject. You're figuring out what you think about the different concepts and issues for a subject based on the things you've thought about, felt, and read, as well as the places you've lived, jobs you've had, and other past life experiences. Do I know about past life experiences? The answer is yes. Okay, check this out. Kenya, 1914. I am there in the thick of it in the big field, right? So this water buffalo is coming from behind me, and I look at him right in the face, and I go, hey, get off me, man. Ho, 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 ho. It was the worst thing that had ever happened to me. Now I'm just me. I'm pretty happy about that, though. Okay, that's enough talk about writing as an abstract concept. Let's leave planet abstract now and move on to some of the more specific facets of writing in college. Here's a schedule for the rest of the tape. First, we're going to talk about some general qualities of almost all academic writing. That way we can give you an overview of good writing in college. Then we're going to look at an academic essay written for an English composition class. We'll use this essay to go into even more detail about some of the aspects of writing in college.